we move my bottoms in that again so I can actually sit in the middle. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm here with Nicole and Michelle for another car talk. But do you, oh, do you guys believe in taking a break? Like, in relationships? I don't know. Go in, like, you can go, like, go into depth about it. <laughs> I think for me, the general answer is no, because you shouldn't, like, hesitate to think about whether or not you want to be with someone. But I get, like, sometimes um, you just need space. Yes. Space is different. But taking a break... Because sometimes, often people will say that they want to take a break so that they can cheat without feeling guilty. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, because like that? No, I don't know. Well, obviously, like sometimes, like I don't know. I mean, I feel like a lot of people say that they want to take a break and then they get with someone else mm -hmm. afterwards. And okay, that's like yeah. excessive. Like you're still dating the person. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because just... there are times where I feel like it's okay to just like maybe a couple days. You just want like a couple days to yourself, yeah, or, like a week to yeah. yourself. And that's different. No, because some people are like, let's take a break from the whole relationship. So like, like I don't believe in that. I yeah, don't believe in that. Exactly. Like that's a breakup to me. You're um, breaking up with no, me. No, for real. Yeah, I don't know. I I think that, like, it's. I feel like some people sometimes people forget like, it's a problem and problems are meant to be resolved together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they often like people forget like they see they see something like when times get tough, their first instinct is to run. Yeah. And then they regret running, but then it's too late. I saw a TikTok about, like, how their first girlfriend is always, like... For is... for a dude, yes. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Is always, like, what? It's always, like, perfect. Or not, not perfect. So, for example, like, the guy in the podcast was talking about how... Like, their, his first love? Their first girlfriend oh, first was, girlfriend. like, taking care of them and being supportive mm -hmm. and everything. And when they decide to, like... Um, they think that every girl is like that. Mm. So they well, go on They go on to a the next, next relationship. They're like, oh, I want to break up because I'm going East Coast or like I'm moving somewhere else. Who's the East Coast? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst example he could use. It's because he used that example. Nicole, this is, this is, yeah. this is not yeah. go for everybody. This is not generally speaking. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. As soon as she said oh, East Coast, I was like, Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like first girlfriend. East Coast. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, did Kyle make this TikTok? Like, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> I'm just kidding, it's okay. Um so anyways, they move elsewhere and they're like, Oh yeah, like I don't think we can do this anymore and then they go to the next girl who ends up being crazy and toxic and they're like, Shit, yeah. I like ruined like the best thing I ever had. A lot of oh. the times people Okay, I'm gonna say people because I don't want to generalize. Like, but people will talk to multiple people because, especially if they already had a first love or like had a first like a person that they have an eye on, they will talk to multiple people because they will look for that one person in multiple people, and like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, mm -hmm. you know what is that song Joji sings? Which one? The sad one. Glimpse of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like a lot of the times, like. For an example, like, a guy will already have his first love, and let's say that... Because you're looking for that girl. They break up. Yeah. Let's say that they break up with what, because of whatever <laughs> happened, and then they will probably won't get into a relationship for a while, but they'll talk to multiple girls, because each and every one of those girls can give them a quality that remind him of her yeah. of his first love. And that's why... Yeah, you're always looking for, the like, the person that... Exactly. Especially if he with. was the one that messed up, and she was the one that got away. Not even, like... I feel like... With a, someone who's already had their first love, it either has to end badly because then if like if I dated someone who already had their first love, I'm not gonna help but wonder like no yeah he settled for me because he couldn't keep her. No, but the thing is like I was also thinking there was like a TikTok that I saw too like <clears throat> they were dating and they ended on good terms, but they just they'd been like like they they were the first everything first, first yeah everything first yeah, yeah that's even so worse. they just wanted to like branch out and just like like. I don't know, like just break up first and see if they would ever like find mm -hmm. each other again. But I feel like like that's I feel like just, that's like... not that's not a good way to think about it because there's so many factors that contribute into getting into a relationship, you know. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's not fair for the next person you're gonna get into a relationship with. Yeah. Like, yeah, your expectations are so high up. Exactly, and I don't want to have to feel like I'm being compared to someone else. Yeah. Like, throughout my relationship, but that that insecurity would eat me up. Mm -hmm. Like, I would never feel secure in that mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. So we all agree that breaks. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of breaks. Space is different, but breaks maybe not. Yeah. What do you guys what do you guys think is like 
the important foundations of a relationship communication worthiness effort consistency yes communication communication, communication. and trustworthiness is like loyalty. two big things yeah loyalty loyalty, loyalty yeah. over love always for me what do you mean by that because like <laughs> because you can always love someone but you can hurt them um. you can always love like hurt someone you love but if you're loyal to them like for me like my friends for example like we're not gonna drop names but there are a lot of people who have claimed that they love me but have hurt me by maybe getting with someone that has hurt me mm-hmm. that's not that's not loyal like that that you i know you love me but you weren't loyal to me that's why you went and maybe you like got with someone yeah. that did okay. you dirty i totally agree with that because i have like a thing for like if my friends don't fuck with you i don't fuck with you that's also the mindset that i have i mean obviously there's an extent like oh like i like there has to i don't want to say that there has to be like a valid reason you don't like them for me to be like oh like um i don't want like i don't like like it they're usually yeah. majority of the time my friends are pretty reasonable with that kind of stuff mm-hmm. like pretty like like they have valid reasons to not like the other person so of course i won't go and hang out with them but there are people who have that mindset like oh but they never did anything to me so mm-hmm. why would i hate them but that's not loyalty so that's why for yeah. me and even in relationships i'd rather you stay loyal to me because even if you fall out of love you can at least break up with me first before getting with someone else that's true so God, loyalty Michelle. over love damn <laughs> <laughs> you guys have ever heard that 21 savage song he was like i'd rather have loyalty than love because love don't mean shit that. like yeah i don't i mean mm. that's just my mindset though loyalty over love i like that i like that. i will keep that in mind yes Stella. <laughs> i will keep that in mind please because love it because you can love someone easily but to be loyal to them that takes more effort because you can love just about anybody in my opinion like you can grow to love someone but can you put in the effort to be loyal to i them? really don't understand how people can cheat that me neither like let's talk about how? that, how let's talk about that. that. <laughs> like i'm just thinking about it and i was just like uh, oh. especially emotionally cheating like it'd be different for me if like my guy my um, boyfriend or my girlfriend like slept with someone versus they got the time to get to know someone to like bond with them so, what's like, okay what's worse cheating by kissing them or cheating them cheating by having sex with them sex because i heard like I cheating heard, i mean kissing is intimate both no i think for me both like well obviously yeah. both are cheating but, but like the same level for me oh, like okay. no <laughs> some people like, see kissing some people just want to fuck right yeah yeah some people want to fuck and they're and just like, that doesn't matter that's well, then it. fuck the girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> why did you fuck someone else yeah oh, but that's because like there are there's so many factors like what if the girlfriend isn't ready to have sex like what if the girlfriend okay, that doesn't isn't, matter isn't all about yeah, sex but that's it, why like, loyalty that's, that that's, so why, yeah. that's why that's <laughs> why they cheat because or yeah like that's why people cheat because their girlfriend or their boyfriend can't offer them like what they want in the moment but they can offer them the commitment mm. but they can't offer them their the pleasure like their needs like that's mm-hmm. different but, but like the commitment sometimes people like the idea of someone just staying they don't like the idea of them oh. they just like the idea of them staying oh and that's like sometimes people just want like a little like Attention. a little minion like just kind of like i know but that's so stupid exactly but that's how people think sometimes that's so sad yeah, yeah. so that's why i if like if my girlfriend or boyfriend like cheated on me by like sleeping with someone else of course i'd be pissed but I would be so hurt if he was like he or she was like I fell in love with them while I was with you uh, versus all I all, versus like Olivia I just Rodrigo I just type. I just like I just slept with them because I was horny or I was I I don't know what I was thinking I I it didn't mean anything like it was just sexual that's still bad that's still not an excuse yeah versus like versus yeah. I I fell asleep on call with them every single night mm-hmm. I we have a movie that we like sure, to watch that together is emotionally damaging yeah report. like oh like that show reminds me of them. Mm-hmm. or that outfit like oh she wore a similar outfit like that too mm-hmm. like, she wore it better I'm just <laughs> exactly exactly like that emotional yeah. stuff like that would kill me mm-hmm. versus like because he can sleep with any girl he could kiss any other girl she can kiss any other guy sleep with any other guy but to get to know someone and like take time and effort to put into and in someone else while you're with me like that's just that's crazy to me that's sad yeah so that's that's my take on okay that. so if if you found your significant other on a dating app 
and while you guys were in a like really like loyal relationship or like not not even fu fucking loyal <laughs> they were like committed period they were in a, they were like committed you know and you found them on whatever dating app would you forgive them and give them a second chance or like automatically break up uh, well obviously can i look can i look through key. yeah you, can you I have look to look through at the dating app see yeah. they recently like liked any girls mm. but like that doesn't but make honestly, any sense at all as soon yeah. like i have hinge and as soon as i get a significant other i'm deleting that app that's like the first thing i feel like it's like a mental note that oh like i'm gonna delete this app real quick yeah. like that's my that's me but i feel like that should be the standard period though mm -hmm. yeah so i would be pretty upset at that case, I mean, I, I know some upset, people might sound sure. unreasonable because it's just an app. But that yeah, app is meant to like get to like no other people. No other like, people. Yeah. That's I'm not I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> is it like our dating apps? Do you feel like are more to like get to know someone or for like hookup culture? Personally, I don't know if I can be in a relationship with someone that I met on a dating app because I I want to meet people naturally. I feel yeah. like like everyone thinks now that just like going on a dating app is just like. Me, yeah yeah or that i feel like this or maybe generation... like with tinder but with hinge is different or that's what i think yeah because on hinge Wait. you have like these little notes that like oh i'm looking for a long-term relationship i'm looking yeah, for something oh, yeah, like I'm that like for, for tinder i feel like it's only like hook up mm -hmm. yeah but, but that's what i heard too yeah yeah i don't have tinder so i don't i wouldn't really know i have a friend who met his girlfriend on bumble yeah, I, I have friends who. It's a dating app so i have it, like, friends different? who um well, it's like it? it's similar to mm. all dating apps like mm. right so like left. i guess i shouldn't rule that out because i do have a friend who met his girlfriend on um on a dating app but they've been together for i want to say three just, four years naturally it's just different it's yeah, just different it that's is. different because i want like a story to tell people yeah. if that makes yeah. sense like like she has a story to tell people like <laughs> just like meeting on a dating app just seems so <laughs> anti-climatic be confident guys <laughs> yeah but i don't know <laughs> how'd you raise them up how'd you raise them up Key club <laughs> meeting <clears throat> Key club. Key, Key club. Key club. Key club. She saw and... him. And she was like, I want him. <laughs> so she did it. And she messaged him. Damn. W -ring. She knew what she wanted. So she took it. Oh, God. That's how it should be. Oh, I'm God. so happy. Yeah. She is. Who's this? Bitch, turn off the foot. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hello. Michelle is such a good talker. <laughs> Yeah, no, Michelle's really good at explaining stuff. Yeah. Well, oh. she's majoring in psych, guys, and she's becoming a therapist. So, dude, honestly, I can see you as a therapist. I, yeah, as a therapist, hundred percent. Like when I grow up and I have problems, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna fucking go to you. What's up? I'll give you guys a discount too. <laughs> wow, just come over. No, me? What the fuck? <laughs> I just said I just come over. Okay, but opinions on guy and girl best friends. No. No. So okay. Me? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not no. No. But it's, okay. It depends. I don't on know. The... You sounded pretty confident. No. In that no. <laughs> just from yeah, what, like, my sister has a guy best friend right now, mm -hmm. and I'm ju just thinking, like, like they're really close. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, like, when he gets a girlfriend, I'm gonna be so sad because mm -hmm. then, like. Cause he's like a brother to me, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I won't be. And able you to know talk. it's strictly platonic. Yeah. And you know that. Yeah. And yeah. that's what makes it sad in a way but like um i don't know for me i feel like there's a like the girl best friend has to know her limit okay so for yes, example no, yeah, yeah, her yeah, limit boundaries, yeah, yeah. boundaries boundaries because one of my my guy friends like when he was with a, in a relationship i asked him to take me home because like his from work mm -hmm. because his house was really close and mm -hmm. plus and you need a ride home yeah i i mm -hmm. needed a ride home and plus he was on the way to his girlfriend's house mm -hmm. which was on the way to my house mm -hmm. so i was like let me i didn't i was like let me ask his girlfriend first yeah i was i asked her if yeah, it was nice, okay yeah, yeah. If like, that's he took what you should home. do and huh? if if she wasn't okay then i was like oh it's fine i'll just ask my mom or yeah. uber home or something but i think the fact that you even had the courtesy to ask her to personally reach out to her that's yeah. that's what made that's probably what made her like oh like of course it's like, just yeah. knowing the boundaries for yeah sure. mm -hmm, exactly. i think for sure there's a difference between a girl best friend and your best friend that just happens to be a girl because yeah. i don't like mm -hmm. that label girl mm -hmm. best friend because the majority of the time I'll say, oh, my friend, and he'll just happen to be a guy. A guy like, yeah. I will never say, oh, my, my guy best friend is, etc. Like, mm -hmm. I'll say my best friend, mm -hmm. who just happens to be a boy, you know? Like, I feel like there's obviously that difference. And, like, a lot of, do you guys agree with, like, for example, like, if a boyfriend, if, like, a, a guy had a girl best friend and his girlfriend asked him to drop her, would you, do you think that he should? Wait, can you repeat it? Like, let's <laughs> say, um, 
Like, let's say I dated a guy okay. and he had a girl best friend. Do you mm-hmm. think it's reasonable for me to ask him to drop her? Mm-hmm. It depends on what. I, I, oh, it definitely depends on the yeah, girl. Yeah, depends on, like, But what? if that girl is willing to, like, establish boundaries, then I don't see yeah, a problem. Yeah, exactly. mm-hmm. I don't see a problem with I that. I wouldn't mind either. Yeah. Like, I, like, I would still let them hang out. Mm-hmm. If they were alone, yeah, that'd be a little bit iffy, but uh, why would I be with him if I didn't trust him? Yeah. Also, like, because, Trust like, is the key. Trust is the yeah. key. Also, if you're friends with, if the, if he was friends with the girl before us, mm-hmm. oh, then that's different. That is very different. a new girl. I'm like, yeah. I should be your best friend. Yeah. Why are you because becoming friends with there are, a new girl? Because, like, the guys that I'm friends with now, like, I've known them for, like, years. Like, yeah. like, nearly a decade. Exactly. So, but obviously, I always preach putting your, signif- yeah, your significant other first. Because that's going to be your best friend. Mm-hmm. Your significant other should be your best friend, in my opinion. Like, this doesn't, this doesn't mean, like... Like you can't see your other friends. I'm just yeah. saying, like you should have priorities mm. in a relationship. Yeah. Like obviously, it's reasonable to put your significant other as a priority. But for me, if I dated a guy, maybe if I even dated a girl, but specifically guys, I don't think I could ever see myself putting my putting him over my girlfriends. I don't know if I can do that. Mm. I think that's different. Like my friends have been there for me for so long that I can't really imagine picking them over a guy i just met right now yeah you know yeah and it's really important for me for my significant other to get along with my friends like i wouldn't date someone who made my friends uncomfortable and like yeah trust is very important and i have like my girlfriends like they have boyfriends and there's a reason why they let me hang out with their boyfriends yeah there's nothing to worry about (coughs) so i feel like there's definitely (coughs) boundaries like obviously Mm -hmm. i'm not gonna text someone's boyfriend every single day i'm not gonna call them like there's a fine line between like because you if if it's a true friendship you you'll you won't have to like if they get in, like if they get into a relationship with someone else and they have a true friendship with you you won't have to worry about them forgetting you mm-hmm. if it's a true friendship you know mm-hmm. like you can still check up on each other every now and then like you guys may not text every single day but you don't have that need to really like in my opinion yeah mm-hmm. sounds like they're having a good combo <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, can you help me? No, it's shorter. <laughs> <laughs>